Good morning, my friends. It's Vanessa. Let me turn up my brightness so I make sure I can see you. Hi, it's Vanessa Short, your Saint Artist. It is makeup class time. And I'm going to do a little skin prep and then we are going to put makeup on. And let's get started. If you guys have any questions, ask along the way. Hopefully I will see them. Hello, Christina. So we're just going to go through this um, as quickly as I can just because I tend to drag things on and I wanted this to be a, a pretty concise class. So the first thing we're going to talk about is skin prep. And um, I, before I get started on that, if you guys wake up with red eyes like I seem to do every single day, if you haven't tried this Lumify, it's cool. Uh, one drop in each eye and it makes them nice and white. I love it. I still have to take my allergy pill, but I love it. Okay, so skin prep. I actually dermaplaned last night, and I used a new razor that I found, and I'm in love with it. And um, hi, Lori. And uh, I I used to recommend another brand, and I think that I've changed my mind. I like it a lot. I found them on Amazon. I think I have the links um, on my website, but... I dermaplane last night and I actually didn't get any redness from it, which was great. I love doing that. So this morning, if you have dry skin like I do, you may want to do this. If you don't have dry skin, if you are uh, normal to oily, you may not need moisturizer before this makeup and you probably don't even need a primer unless you're extremely oily. We can talk about that another time. But this is one of the things that I love when my skin is feeling dry in the winter. It's called The Ordinary and it's their rose hip oil and I just use like one or two drops and I always put it on my hand instead of touching the nozzle to my face because it's more sanitary and my hands are clean and I'm just going to tap this in. I'm not rubbing. I'm not pulling my skin a lot. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Vanessa Short. I have been in the beauty field for over three decades. I'm a licensed cosmetologist and makeup artist and I love all things beauty. Next thing I'm going to follow with is my ordinary just daily moisturizer and I just use a little bit. If you wanted to use sunscreen at this point, do. Um, our makeup doesn't work amazing on everybody with a silicone based primer or sunscreen. So that is something to take into consideration. Otherwise it works great on everybody, but if you're using something that has silicone, sometimes it doesn't sit on that well. Okay, so again, I just tap that in. Make sure I bring it down on my neck, up on my neck. I'm trying to get in the habit of going up. All right, so we're past the skin prep. Let's um, get a sip of coffee if you have your coffee with you. It might be noon, your time. I would still be drinking coffee. But I am actually going to kind of show you two different things. I'm going to start with our our number four collection which is the most basic it's a great starter set comes with this brush if you just don't want to deal with me at all and you want to go on there you want to look at some pictures and say that's what skin tone I am you can actually choose that yourself online it comes with this brush it comes in a compact and you get your main highlight main highlight brightening highlight which are your foundation slash concealer your contour and a blush okay but my favorite set actually comes with for additional colors and that's called the number eight so on the second level of this it'll be a double level palette that you get you'll get an additional foundation color it's great if you're in between or if you just want to mix or you're just a step more high maintenance like I am good morning um Missy plays with makeup is your name Missy or is that just like a cute you know like lady that plays with makeup tell me um, and then you get a bronzer and you get an additional blush. And by the way, this is one of our seasonal releases. It's a new color called um, Tiger Lily. I haven't tried it yet. It's not normally in my palette of, of um, colors that I would wear, but I've seen it on some people with my skin tone and my hair color and it's really beautiful. So I'm going to try it. This does not come in your number eight. The colors may not be exact, as a matter of fact, but I just want to throw that in because I wanted to show it to you. And the number eight palette does come with an additional blush. Hi, Missy. 
Um, welcome, welcome to Saint if you're new and if you've been here a while, nice to see you. The last thing that comes in the number eight is an illuminator. So let's get to it. I'm really going to work out of the number four because I want to keep this basic and we'll, then we'll just throw in a couple things on this one. Like I want to use that blush. So sometimes we do the dot method. We do it with lines. I'm going to just do it like it's your normal makeup and you've never seen Saint before. And I'm going to grab my main color, which is the one that matches your skin the most, your foundation color. And I'm pretty much putting this everywhere. I don't worry about getting it into my hairline because I'm going to put my contour there. But I am just going to dab, 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 and then blend as I go. And you can kind of do it in light little swipes. And I'm going very lightly. If you can tell, I'm not moving my skin a lot. If you really want to push it into your skin, you can kind of stipple it in like this. If you get a lot of redness or maybe you have rosacea, I do go in spurts of having really rosy cheeks. They're really pretty good today, but um, you probably want to just not really be aggressive with this because you're just going to stimulate that blood and you're probably going to bring more to the surface and uh, we don't we don't want to emphasize that pinkness. So just be gentle, but definitely press it in. So I'm putting this everywhere and I even put a little bit under my eyes, but I don't concentrate a lot on uh, covering any dark circles or blemishes. I wait until the end to do that. I feel like my screen is dark. I hope somebody let me know if the lighting's okay. Um, Tiger Lily, Missy, let's see what it looks like on me. Cause I honestly, I've had it sitting here for a couple of weeks almost, and I just haven't had the opportunity to try it. I keep forgetting about it. So I literally opened it. It's brand spanking new. I haven't even touched it. So it'll be a surprise for all of us. All right, so I've got my main foundation color on. I think I need to skip ahead and put mascara on because I always feel like I'm so bald eyed without it. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more about me. I was born blonde and I was blonde until I was like five. And then I started going into this honey golden color. And then I don't know, I guess it was puberty because then my hair just got darker and darker and darker. So what you see now is my natural. Of course, it's wet. So um, and I have a few highlights in there, but I am actually embracing all my silvers because uh, I'm almost 52, by the way. It's weird to say it out loud because I still think I'm only like 38, maybe. Uh, but my eyelashes and my eyebrows still grow in really light. So I dye my eyebrows. And as you can see, I do have eyelashes. They just don't show up until I put some mascara on. Okay, what mascara am I using? This is called the Falsies by Maybelline. I like it. It's kind of the one of the ones I grab, but you guys, I'm I'm obnoxious with mascara because I have a little jar right here and I, I have this many mascaras in them. They're all different. And I also have a drawer underneath me that has probably another five different mascaras. I am working on finding my favorite one. It depends what I'm doing. If I'm going to work out, a lot of times I'll use this CoverGirl one because it's water resistant. And um, if I want a little bit thicker lash, I like this Maneater one from Tarte. I, I'm seriously, it's a problem. It's a problem. Like I now I never look at any other foundation when I go in the store because I'm in love with Saint and I've been in love with it for five years. Oh, happy birthday, Missy. Happy early birthday. But for mascara, forget it. Like I, I just, this one um, thrive. Tons of people love this, love this. It's like one of those encompassing your eyelashes and it comes off with water. I hated it when I first got it and it was brand new. After it started to dry a little bit, I like it better. It's just a thing. It's so silly. But, okay. See, this is what happens. This is why it takes me longer than three minutes to put my makeup on when I'm talking. Because this is why. Normally, it would take three minutes. I swear to you. Okay, I have my foundation color on. Now, I'm going to flip my brush over. I'm going to use the pointy one. And this is actually called the 3D brush. It comes with the set four and it comes with the set eight. If you get that to the collection eight, I'm going to tap into my contour and I'm literally just going to go around the edges 
under like I'm going to kind of find where my cheekbone dips in and go right on it so not really too far under my cheekbone more on it it's a little bit more uplifting for me you may have your favorite way and then right on my cheek on my jawline so I'm not looking up I'm really just trying to emphasize this shadow I have a tiny little jowl right there so we're just gonna kind of erase that okay wait let me see uh, yeah, it's, yeah, the Thrive. I haven't tried Aqua Essence, but yeah, they're, they're just so, I don't know. They're, they're just kind of a pain to work with. I feel like at first, okay, see how I just put that on and I'm going back and forth. Make sure that you get in your hairline with that. Okay. I'm making my five head a forehead. If you have a tiny forehead, you may not really need any of this here, but almost everybody has a little bit weaker hairline in this area. It's totally normal, but I like to make sure I fill that part in. And here's a good rule of thumb. If you make a triangle right here and you kind of go from the arch of your eyebrow up, this is where you're wanting, gonna wanna keep the lightness. And you can even kind of do it this way too, like a, make a diamond. You're gonna keep lightness here. This is where we're putting the contour on the outside of that. And then you can just either tap this in I don't like to come in further than that outer corner of my eye. If you have a, a wider face, you can totally come in more. If you're really narrow, you may only put a tiny little dot right there just to give you a little shadow. And if you notice, and I've noticed this on a lot of people, we kind of have a natural shadow right here where it's almost, you can feel it. It's like where it dips in, in your jaw. I sometimes have to wipe my contour away there because I already have a natural shadow and if I put more there, it just looks dirty. It looks like a little dirty dot. So sometimes I'll just wipe a little extra there. All right, wait, let me do this side. I forgot. And I told you not to look up and then I did it. Just go along your jawline. So not way up high on it, just right along it. And then I usually bring it down a little bit as I'm blending. And I know you've seen where people just put the lines and the dots everywhere and blend at the end. You can do that too. Nobody said you can't. I'm going to dab into my contour again, and I'm using the pointy side. Again, sometimes people use the opposite sides of this to put their makeup on. Try it. You might like it. So I'm just squeezing the brush together, and the trick with contour on the nose is you're going to really want to get it more on the top of your nose. I'm trying to get these two dark lines close together but not touching, so I leave a light line in the middle. And I'm a little bulbous right here, so I put a little extra right there, and then I just make like a little triangle at the end like that. Some people will put like a little line across it so that they have a dot and then a line, whatever. Put a little bit under your lip. If you want, it creates just a little shadow. So see, it looks like my lips are a little bit fuller. What's cool about the number four is that it's all in one. It's super easy, but you can use your contour as eyeshadow. And you can either do it with the brush or you can just tap it on with your finger. If you get a smaller brush, you can fill in your eyebrows with this. You can use it as lip liner. You can even use it as lip color if you like a brown lipstick. Why not? Um, eyeliner, if you want to get a, a smaller brush, this might be a little tricky, but I'll do it because I'm a daredevil. Okay. Um, okay, now we didn't do our brightening color, so let's do that. The brightening color, think of as highlight. It's just going to bring a, a extra brightness to your face. The, in, right in here, people like to put it, and I definitely always say put it on the inner corner of your eye and down the side of your nose. If you feel like this brush is just a little too big to do that, just tap in with your finger and go like this. And then on the outer corner and up, let me give you a little bit more so you can see it. And then for me, I'm a little shadowed right here, so I like to put it right there. And then I like to take a little extra and put a dot right or a little swipey line right under where I put my contour because it makes it pop more. Okay, and then, uh, oh, and down your nose. I forgot that part. So go real light with this down your nose because you just want to keep a really skinny line, see? And you can put it here if you want to, too. And then you can use the same brush and you can blend it. So again, I'm just like tapping it in. So I'm marrying these two light, light, light dots that I put together because really when I go to cover my dark circle more, we're going to use the darker foundation. Darkness covers darkness. Um, and I thought about this because I was like, how do you explain that to people? They're like, no, I want it to be light and bright. It's like if you had a wall that was painted red and you wanted to paint it white to make it light and bright, 
you literally, if you just put white right over the top of that red wall, it would look kind of muddy. It would look kind of, you would see some of that color through some of that red. It wouldn't just be the easiest thing to cover. You would have to prime it first. Or if you picked a color that was the same darkness as red, but you wanted it to be a different color, like maybe like a gray or something, that would probably cover it. So when you're covering darkness, use the same darkness. That's a, a really good rule to remember. And it's, it's true. It works. You'll see when I put the darker color under my eye. All right. And on that blemish and under my nose. All right. Let's, let's, uh, blush, but I'm going to try the new tiger lily because I'm feeling brave. All right. I am going to put it with my finger because I just don't know the intensity of it. It's intense. Okay, I'm just gonna tap it above where I put my contour and kind of on the outside there. What's cool about the, um, so the number four palette comes with a, a, a different color. It doesn't come with that. But what's cool about getting the eight palette is it comes with two different lip and cheek colors and they're all gonna vary depending on what level your skin tone is but they really will both look pretty on you, but it's nice because you can mix the two together. Okay, I'm super happy with this color. So I'm just kind of tapping and blending and I like to go in a little bit of a, a C motion here and then I might just bring it a little closer to my um, apple, but I never start at my apples because my apples have fallen <laughs> and I already have fullness there, so I don't need to really create too much more but I do like to kind of come around here. All right, I like the color. I think I'm not gonna love it on my lips, but I'll put it on here anyway, very lightly, so you can see. Okay, I don't hate it. I... Tiger Lily, you guys, it's a seasonal color. Um, I'm not sure if it's only around, I'll have to look, or, or maybe Missy, do you know, is the seasonal color here to, is it a new release or is it, was it just a seasonal color? <sighs> okay, the number eight palette comes with a bronzer, an additional brightener. Oh, I forgot to cover under my eyes. We'll do that at the end. And it comes with an illuminator. So at this point, I'm gonna show you the bronzer. I'm gonna use the round side and I'm just gonna lightly tap. Our bronzers are super creamy. They're very pigmented. And so you only need a little bit. And I'm kind of just putting this on the high points of my face where the sun would hit. So kind of in here, a little bit on the nose. Blend it with my cheek color a little bit. And then I will usually put a little bit right here just because my chin is a little prominent. If you actually have a, a more receded chin, I would keep that light and bright because light brings things forward. Darkness recedes but I would put it under here because that's a place that we never see the sun. So I hope these little tips are helping. Okay, that's that. You can use this as eyeshadow too. I have something in my eyeball. So let me see if I can get it out. I think it's just eye goo, but it's like blinding me. All right. A little bit of eyeshadow using my bronzer for that I'll use the um, lighter color and put that just under my brow and I will also put it right here on the inner corner this that's actually the mid color but it's light enough Okay, let's cover the blemish. Now this is where, and under my eyes, I'm gonna dab into my darker color and I'm gonna just dab right there where I'm the darkest. And I like to kind of tilt my head like that because it, I can see the shadow more. But do you see I'm really only putting it right there where that dark shadow is. If you need a little bit more color correcting or if you really have some dark circles or maybe some um, melasma or something that you really wanna cover, we have another line called Demi. Ask me about it. I can help you pick the right colors for that too. They do have some collections that are pre-made and um, they're phenomenal. So, oh, it's just seasonal, the Tiger Lily. Okay, you better get it. I think it's only around for another month. 
You better get it. It's I'm I'm super happy with it. I like it. Um, okay, I'm just going to grab a little brush because I want to show you using my darker foundation color how I'm going to cover this dark blemish that I keep picking and it never heals. And I'm wiping off my finger so I don't put the tiger lily on it. Uh, I got my little paper towel here. And then I just tap this with my finger until it melts in and disappears. And so if I have any any blemishes, that's what I usually do. And sometimes even if I have like a, a little extra darker spot, I'll do that. But use the tiniest brush to only touch that spot that you're trying to cover. Because if you go all around it with that color, you're just going to create a new color all around it. And then it's not going to really cover what you're trying to cover. So focus on that one tiny little thing that you're trying to cover. So I think my... I'm not bad. I have a couple dark spots here. I'm always dark right here. But then while I'm at it, I might as well just use the same little brush and show you how you can use your contour to fill in your eyebrows. So I like to start at my arch and then come down to my tail. And then I just do a little line on the underneath here. And we have special brushes for this, but I'm just thinking if you just bought the 8 set, it wouldn't come with this brush. So you might just need a little bit smaller brush to do it. But most of the time, the contour is going to work in your eyebrows, too. And if I'm custom color matching you, I it's almost always going to work in your eyebrows because that's how I operate. All right, I think I need some more blush. I, and now I'm going to get brave and just dab right into that tiger lily and give myself a little bit more. Yep, I am pleasantly surprised. And I don't even hate it on my lips. I'm not a huge lipstick person. Okay, the last thing I need to show you, if you get the number eight collection, is Illuminator. And this may not be the shade that you get. This is rose gold, though. It's really universal. Um, but honestly, most of the illuminators anybody can wear. So it's going to be super creamy. It's like a gloss. You can actually wear it on your lips. But it's really beautiful. This is a cream. We do have powders also, but a little bit down the nose, the high points of your cheekbone. And a lot of times I'll smile just to make sure I don't run into my crow's feet. Oh, I don't like to call them that. They're actually smile lines, people. I don't have crow's feet. Um, but it's, the cream is going to be more subtle. It's so pretty. It's one of those things that when you're looking at yourself, you're, you're like, eh, I don't really see it. It's when you turn and the light hits it and it creates this beautiful glow. So I always say that illuminator isn't really for you to see. It's for everybody else to see. Uh, what did I put there? I missed your question, Lori. What did I put where? Eek. Uh, Tell me what area I put something so that I can, there's a de delay in my comments, so I don't see it right away. Okay, well, anyway, that's it. I mean, that's it, you guys. I, I, I think, I hope that I kept that kind of simple. I'm sure I took way longer than I needed to, um, but I am put together. You can leave this as is. If you're dry, you may not need which highlight goes right under here, my main foundation color. So technically my darker highlight because I'm trying to cover darkness. And then I put my lighter highlight on the inner and outer corners. And when I blend them together, it makes like a middle color. But I never put the lightest color right here, especially on mature skin. And mature skin has nothing to do with age. It has to do with texture, in my opinion. I mean, I've seen 25-year-olds that have mature skin because they have sun damage, they have texture, they have dryness, they have acne scars. So anything that creates, that looks like texture, if you put it too light right here, it's actually going to emphasize texture. And for us mature women, it's going to emphasize those fine lines. And if your skin is really dry, it's really going to emphasize that. So... 
cover with the same darkness, light and bright on the inner and outer corners, down the nose, and then I like to put that light and bright right here. In fact, I don't even know that I blended it all the way, but I don't care because I think it looks really cool. Um, what was I saying? What questions do you have? How are we doing? Um, I, I, uh, I'm ready to answer questions. Any questions about any anything saint or skincare or whatever, I can I'm happy to answer those. So if I don't have any questions, I think I might go dry my hair. Oh, I was I know what I was saying first, um, before I do that, is that you can leave it like this, but if you feel like you need some setting, you can use a setting spray, you can use a setting powder. Um, we do have a setting spray. I'm not in love with the sprayer on it. It's a little aggressive. And so I have actually transferred it into a different bottle. So I like a, a really nice mist. And so I put it in another bottle and I use it out of that. But it's a great setting spray. Um, I like it for that. I've also seen this trick where you just put a little bit um, like on the back of your hand and then you take your finger and you just lightly dab that setting spray. So it's wet. It's going to feel weird, but you lightly dab it under your eye or wherever you have a lot more movement. Let it dry. And if you want to have a little bit more of a matte finish, then you can put a little bit of powder over it. If not, you just leave it like that and you have that really pretty youthful dewy glow. So. That's my story. I hope that was helpful. Um, my skin is beautiful. Uh, you know what? Thank you, Missy. My skin was not always beautiful. I actually, right before I found Saint, I had terrible facial eczema around my mouth and my nose. And if I, I couldn't get eyebrow waxes anymore because I it would flare up if I did right here. It was terrible. I had a hormonal acne, so that was five years ago. I was really scared to change to this makeup. Um, but what I found is that the makeup is so, it has humectants in it. It's very hydrating and moisturizing and calming to my skin at least that I haven't had um, eczema breakouts since probably a few months after I stopped or started using Saint and stopped using my old stuff. But, um, I thank you for saying that because it has been something my whole life I've wanted people to say that I have pretty skin. And I became a camouflage artist with makeup before because I had a lot of just acne issues and dry patches and things. And so I became really good at hiding those things. And now I feel like, honestly, if I throw a little mascara on, um, I don't. I will go out in public without makeup now, which I never, ever did before. So I appreciate that you say that. I now keep it pretty simple, and I use the Saint Skincare. I It took me about a year to get the full set of that. I used the cream, cream right away, which was a huge improvement on my skin. Um, because our Saint products are milk-based, the, the skincare, there's lactic acid in the cream, actually in all of the products with the skincare, but lactic acid, even though the word acid sounds scary, lactic acid is very gentle and it gives a gentle exfoliation, but it also can help lighten darkness. It can, um, it's just very soothing to help with the turnover of your cells. And so that was a huge, huge improvement for me. Um, but I do incorporate in, I love the Ordinary products. I don't think I have a, I think I did put a link to that in my, in my, on my webpage too. So my website is www.beautybonedeepwithvanessa.com. I've just started to create a page of like all my favorite things. The Ordinary is so so affordable. And so I really do, I use this in the daytime almost always. 
if I'm feeling really dry, I'll add a little bit of this. But most of the time, if I use this at night, I don't need it in the morning. And, um, oh, I will tell you one other thing that really helped with my hormonal acne. And I haven't used it in probably, I don't know, at least six months now. But Curology. And if you haven't heard of Curology, look it up. It's kind of cool. You can actually customize the formula that you get from them. But it's a cream that I used every night. And um, it's a treatment cream. So the I, I don't do well with like retinols. I'm fine with the small amount of um, vitamin A that they have. Vitamin A is the same. It's a is retinol or retinoids, but retinol is a much higher percentage, by the way. So now I'm getting all like sciency, but um, Curology really helped with some fine lines. Uh, my disc, I had a lot more discoloration in this area, probably just like sun damage from driving, honestly, but it helped with my hormonal acne and it was really cool because I said, I can't use Retin-A normally, and there was another ingredient that my skin didn't really like. So they kind of adjusted it for me. And it turned out that I needed zinc, which is great for healing. And um, niam niaminicide. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But I actually found the Ordinary has a zinc and niaminicide um, serum. And I use that a couple of few times a week at night. So Lori, I think that... The Ordinary, this is a moisturizer. The serum is something that generally, generally I usually use serums just at night, but this is the rose oil. It's very light. It does not smell like roses, you guys. So just know that though, if you're getting a rose oil, a real one that's that's cold pressed and it, and it's treated properly is not going to smell like roses if you have a rose oil that you're using as a serum and it smells like rose oil, it smells like roses they've added a fragrance to it so um that's one of the things that i love about the ordinary is fragrance free cruelty free so it's kind of kind of goes really well with saint in my opinion so um yeah if you haven't tried the ordinary i mean i feel like i should get paid for as much as i refer to them because their their products are really great and super super affordable and they're like high high quality so i love love the stuff that they have all right you guys i think that's it i'm gonna go and uh finish my coffee and i hope you guys have a beautiful beautiful day please let me know if you have any more questions or if you need any help with anything i am here i'm vanessa short your saint artist bye